Oh, let the spirit, let the spirit of the Lord come on and rise among us. Let the spirit of the Lord just let it rise among us. We'll let the praises of thy King let it rise among us. Let it rise, let it rise, let it rise, let it rise. Whoa. Oh, let it rise. Oh, let the glory, let the glory of the Lord just let it rise among us. Let the glory of the Lord just let it rise among us. We'll let the praises of thy King let it rise among us. Let it rise. Oh, let it rise. 25. 25. And I'm going to let brother, I can't let him come up like that. 25. We'll sing a verse so over there and we'll stop. There are some things I may not know. There are some places I can go, I cannot go, but I am sure of this one thing, that my God is real. And for I can feel him deep with thee. Don't you know God is real? He's so real in my soul, in my soul. And don't you know God is real? And for he has washed and made me whole. Yes, his love for me. Well, it's just like you go, like you go. And yes, my God is real. And for I can feel him in my soul. Some folks may die. Well, some folks may scorn. And no can go on and leave me alone, leave me alone, but as for me, well, I'll take God's call, yes, my God is real, and for I can feel him in my heart. Yes, my God is real. God is, and He's so real in my soul. In my, and don't you know God is real? And for He has won and made me whole. Yes, His love for me, love. And well, it's just like you go, like you go. And yes, my God is real, and for I can feel Him in my soul. Yes, my God is real. Well, He's so real in my soul, in my soul. And don't you know God is real? And for he has washed and made me whole. And yes, his love for me. And well, it's 
just like pure gold. Do y'all believe that? A pure gold, and yes, my God is real, and for I can feel Him in my soul. And yes, my God is real, and yeah, He's so real in my soul, in my soul. And don't you know God is real? And for he has washed and made me whole. And yes, his love for me, love. And yes, it's just like Pigo, like Pigo. And yes, my God is real. And for I can feel him in my soul. And yet my God is real. And me His love for me, is like pure gold. My God is real, for I can feel Him in my soul. Amen. <laughs> And the redeem of the Lord said amen. If you love the Lord, say amen again. Certainly we're thankful to the God of heaven for again the privilege of just being here in the house of worship. Oh, this is what they call having church. Amen, amen. We're just, we're just blessed this morning. I said we're blessed this morning. Uh, not only are we blessed, we truly blessed. To be in the house of the Lord. I, I, I recognize that it had not been for Jesus who was on my side. Where? I said, where would I be? If he didn't go to the cross at Calvary, if he didn't shed his precious blood for me, where would I be? I recognize this morning that it was the blood. I said it was the blood. And I know it was the blood, and I know it was the blood, and I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. And I know it was the blood for me. And I know it was. Come on, church. And I know it was the blood. And I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. And I know it was the blood for And they nailed him to the cross. Oh, yeah. And they nailed him to the cross. And they nailed him to the cross for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. And I know it was the blood for and they buried him in, oh yeah, and they buried him, 
my Lord, and they buried him in the tomb for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. And I know it was the blood for And he got up out the grave. Oh, yeah. And he got up out the And my Lord, and he got up out the grave for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross, and I know it was the blood for, and I know it, oh yeah, and I know it was my Lord, and I know it was the blood for me. One day when I was lost, he died upon the cross. I know it was the blood for me. Amen. We do indeed recognize that it was the blood. So we come together this morning that we might refresh ourselves in the peace of God's presence. That he might, uh, rather we might achieve the victorious life through living in deep dependency on him. For I recognize that it is impossible to praise or uh, to thank God too much. Oh Lord, help me to trust you. To relinquish control into your hands. Lord, continue to be my strength. To continue to be my shield. Continue to be my salvation. May I focus on you, Lord. May I lift up my empty hands unto you, that I right receive your precious presence, your light, your life, your joy, and your peace. Indeed, we're thankful to the God of heaven again for this privilege. We want to thank all that have stood before us in this wonderful devotional service. This is how I want to come to church every Sunday. <laughs> Hello, somebody. <laughs> Amen. I, I told y'all, I don't hang from the chandeliers, but if we have church like this every Sunday, somebody going to have to give me a ladder. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Amen. Amen. I tell you what, it, it, it's nothing like being a child of the king. Uh, nothing like coming and to celebrate. I, I'm talking about to celebrate. I, I ain't just talking about say the word. I'm talking about a celebration uh, in the Lord. Surely we'll celebrate. I want to thank our song leaders this morning. I tell you what, you've done a wonderful job. Thank you, Brother Moore, and thank you, Brother Lanier. Thank you, amen, my good friend, my good friend, Brother Moe. Good to have him with us today. He could have kept on singing. <laughs> amen. I would have I just held back. Good to have Brother and Sister Moore. Good to have Brother and Sister Johnson back with us on today. What a blessing it is. Good to have Whitaker back with us. Amen. Amen. We blessed this morning. I say we bless. I tell you all the time, we may be few in number, but we show tall in spirit. Hello, somebody. Uh, let, us, let, us, let us find where the word is. Uh, you, you know, we don't have to look far because there always is a word. I said there always is a word from the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Here we go, here we go. Y'all ready? Y'all ready? If y'all don't help me, I'm going to help myself this morning. So if you hear me say, preach, Thompson, you know I'm helping. You know I'm helping myself. Amen. John, John chapter 9. John chapter 9. And, 
and, and, and, and, and, and a young man been staying with me for the last few days, a young man by the name of Miles, a very intelligent four-year-old boy. And uh, he and I began to talk about Jesus. And he told me how Jesus, how Jesus healed a man that was blind. <laughs> I said, what did he do, Miles? He said he told him to go down to the pool of Siloam. <laughs> Hello, somebody. Uh, uh, he told, uh, and Jesus kneeled down, and he made, uh, uh, he made clay out of spittle, and he, and he anointed. Y'all remember that, don't you? He anointed the blind man's eyes and told him, go down to the pool of Siloam. And I said, Miles, what happened when the went down to the pool of Siloam? Miles said, he came see. <laughs> oh, that's the story, somebody. <laughs> That's the story, John chapter 1. Here we go, here we go. Uh, for the Bible here says, And as Jesus passed by, he saw a blind man, blind from his birth. And, and his disciples asked him, saying, Master, who, who did sin? And, 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 and was it him or was it his parents that, that he was born blind. You, you, you got to know back in biblical days, uh, 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 there was a curse that when you or your parents did wrong, that some evil came upon you. But Jesus had to rectify that. He said, neither one sinned nor his parents, neither, neither him. And then the Bible said, Jesus answered and said, neither this man has sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. For when the night come, no man can work. Jesus said, as long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. When he had thus spoken, he spat on the ground and he made clay of spittle. And he adorned the eyes of the blind man with the clay. And he said unto him, go wash in the pool of Siloam which is interpretation of sin. And the Bible says he went his way therefore and washed and, and came seeing. Then, then the neighbors therefore, they which before had seen him and knew that he was blind, they said, is, is it not he that sat and begged? Some said, this is he. And others said, he's just like him. And, 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 and But the blind man spoke up for himself. He said, but yes. It is me. Is y'all still with me? Then therefore said they unto him, how, how were thine eyes open? He answered and said in verse number 11, a man, I said a man that is called Jesus. Uh, and it's something about the name of Jesus, ain't it? I, I said it's something about the name of Jesus. A man uh, called Jesus, made clay, and he, he anointed mine eyes, and, and he said unto me, go to the pool of Siloam and wash. And, 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 and the blind man said, I went, I washed, and I received. <laughs> Hello, somebody. I, I, I went, I, I washed, and, and, and I received. Uh, I, I, I tell you, this is a a, a, a frequent story that we read, am I right? Not only is it frequent, but it's familiar. And not only is it frequent, it's familiar, but it's to some of us a favorite. Uh, I, 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 I went, woo, I washed, and now I receive. I'm not going to be long this morning. I've got I, I, I've got four pivotal points to the lesson on today, and, 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 and they are, they are, there was a predicament. Y'all going to help me? There was a predicament. Number two, there was a purpose. Number three, there was a plan. And number four, there was a praise. Y'all stay with me till I get to the praise. <laughs> I, I, sometimes you got to go... Oh, y'all ain't going to help me. Sometimes you got to go through some stuff to get to the praise. I, 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 the blind man, number one, Brother Lanier, he was in a predicament. Hello, somebody. Miles My, said, I said, Miles, how long had, 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 had he been blind? And Miles said, just for a little while. I said, Miles, rethink that. How long had he been blind? And Miles said, uh, 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 he was blind from his birth. I don't know about you, but that's a predicament to me. 
if anybody, any of us have been blind from birth, that would be what I call a predicament. Let me, let me, let me help you real quick. A predicament is just simply a, 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 a condition or a situation and, 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 and not only is it a situation, not only is it a condition, but it's a distressing condition. It is a distressing situation. And, 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 I, and I know, and I'm smart enough to know that life sometimes will cast you into a predicament. Hello, somebody. Amen. Sometimes, sometimes we put ourselves in our own predicaments. And sometimes life will cause us to be in a predicament. Am I right about it? Sometimes, sometimes, Brother Russell, it's the choices that we make. Is that all right? It is the choices that, that we make. But even in our predicament, God not only has a purpose, but he has a plan. Hello, somebody. Pele, I tell you all the time, don't. Don't, don't ask for nothing that you ain't ready to have to, hello y'all, that you ain't ready to have to go through something to get it. Amen. Even in our predicaments, God, God, if we just look back to the history of Israel, Israel was always in a predicament. Am I right about it? They always found themselves in a predicament. Even now that we're studying in the book of Samuel, they find themselves in a predicament. They wanted a king like all the other nations did. Am I right? And when they got the first king of Israel, he was disobedient. Hello, y'all. The king had to fight a battle after battle after battle. But while God was in charge, they, hello, y'all. As long as Samuel was in charge, there was peace in Israel. Let me, let me help somebody. As long as you stay in line with God, let me tell you, you'll find some peace in your life. Amen. It ain't always going to be peaches and cream, but I stop by to tell you, if you stay with God, everything, even your predicaments will be all right. The boy had been blind from his mother's womb. He had not been able to see like you and I had not seen the trees, had not seen the light, had not seen the beautiful roses, had not seen the grass, had not even seen his mama nor his daddy. Yes, he was in a predicament. I don't know about y'all, but I've been in some predicaments. Maybe not that bad, but I've been in some situations where I knew that it was not me that brought me where I needed to be. I knew it had to be God that had brought me through my predicament. Amen. Not only do we find ourselves sometimes in predicaments, but we got to understand that God has a purpose in our predicament. We got to understand in our predicaments, we got to commune with God. Y'all know what communing with God means? It means to get in a close relationship with God. It is, it is not just to come and partake of his broken body and his shed blood. That is the communion. But we are to be in communion with God in a relationship, in focus, in touch with God. Is that all right? You see, you see there's no better time to have communion with God when you're in your predicament. And let me tell you something else. That's don't go to God when you're in your predicament. You go to God when things are going, hello, y'all, when things are going well in your life. Not only do we have to commune with God, but, but, but we have to understand that we have to come in compliance. Hello, y'all. We have to come in compliance with God, meaning that we have to be in obedience. We have to come under God's subjection, up under his rule, up under his law, if we are. I'm just talking about when you're in your predicament. I, I, I need to help somebody. You need to have communion with God. You need to come in compliance with God. When you come in compliance, when you come in communion with God, then you can enjoy the conquest. Because if you stay in the battle, you will have a victory. Hello, somebody. Amen, amen. I tell you what, I need some encouragement every week. Amen, amen. Y'all call me. Somebody call me every week and just give me a little bit of encouragement. Because sometimes I feel like I'm in a... I guess I'm the only one, Brother Mo, that's been in a predicament in here. 
Amen. I, I just need somebody to call me and, and, and talk to me while I'm in my predicament because sometimes it's just hearing a word that'll help. That helps me. I don't know about y'all, but just helps me. And, 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 and let me tell you that, when, 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 when you call me, it make me feel good. Hello, y'all. And, and so you call me, and I'm going to call you, because when I call you, it make me feel good, too. Hello, y'all. Number one, the boy was in a predicament. Not only, not only had he been blind, Brother Morton, but, 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 but when the Pharisees came to him, they tried to put him on the spot. They said, boy, who, 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 who made you able to see? First of all, the neighbors didn't even, didn't even recognize him. The neighbor said, uh, is he the one that was blind, or is he just look like the one? The boy stood up and said, no, it's me. Amen. Sometimes we got to give some, oh, I ain't got to the praise here. But every now and then we got to stand up and say what God has done for us. He said, it's me. I'm the one that was blind from there, from birth. It ain't nobody else. Pharisee said, well, 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 where is he? He said, I don't know where he is right now. They said, well, you know who he is. He said, this man by the name of Jesus. They, 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 the Pharisee said, you know he's a sinner? <laughs> the boy said, I don't care. <laughs> Ain't that what he said, y'all? He said, I don't care if you're a sinner or not. One thing I do know, I, I, whereas I was blind, now, now. now. he said, I, I was in a predicament. Yeah. But now, yeah. I used to could not see, but I don't care what y'all say about Jesus. <laughs> Hello, somebody. <laughs> I don't care what y'all say about him. I know what he done done for me. And the boy said, well, as I was blind, now, now I see. I, I, I just stopped by to tell you that you got to have some communion with God. You got to come in compliance with God in order that you might make a conquest through your predicament. Not only that, not only that, but in our predicaments, we, we find ourselves under the manifestation of, uh, 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 of God's power. We have to learn, number one, that there's a problem. And sometimes we have to live with the problem. We, 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 we understand that there's a purpose and we look to the purpose. And then we understand that there is a presence. H amen. There's a problem, there's a purpose, and then there's a presence in God. If y'all rode up this morning and you just happened to glance at the sign out there, uh, uh, I, I put out there, Lord, I want to be in your presence. Hello, somebody. Michelle said, what you got that wanna up there? That's country. She wanted me to put W-A-N-T. I want to be in your presence. I want to be. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be. I want a W-N-N-A. I want to be in his presence. Hello, somebody. Amen. I, I, I understand uh, the predicaments of life. Let me, let, me, let me move on. I said I wasn't going to hold you long. Not only uh, was there a predicament, but there, there's a purpose. Well, somebody might ask, well, well, Brother Thompson, what you mean? This boy been blind from his birth, and, 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 and you talking about there was a purpose? Yeah, yeah, there's a purpose. There's a purpose in everything God does, even in our lives. Even when, Brother, Brother Thurman, we can't figure out what's going on, God's got a purpose. Hello. I, I, I don't believe that God haphazardly does anything. He has a purpose for everything that he do. Amen. The purpose. Well, our purpose is that we are made to worship, to praise, to serve, and to glorify God. If anybody asks you what, what, what's your purpose, uh, uh, you tell them I was, I, I was made to worship, I was made to praise, I was made to give him honor and glory. That's what I was, I, I was made to do. Is, is that all right? 
I hear Paul in the Ephesian letter, chapter 2, Paul said, we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus for, for good works from the foundation. Hello, y'all. We got a purpose. A -a Amen. We got a purpose. There was a purpose. There was a purpose for this man being blind. Y'all may not agree with me, but watch what Jesus said when, when they said, who was it that sinned? Was it him or was it a parent? Jesus has a sin. Neither had this man sinned nor his parents, but that the works of God should be made manifest in him. That's the purpose, church. The purpose was that the works of God might be manifested in him through Jesus, that we might understand that Jesus is in control of everything. Not only that, Jesus said, I am the light. As long as I'm in the world, I am the light of the world. That was a purpose in this predicament. Amen. Amen. That God might get a glory. Jesus said, I, I must have worked the works of him that sent me while it is yet called day because when the night time come, no man, ain't that what he said? No man, no man can work. I'm reminded, I'm reminded of uh, John chapter 11, I believe it is, when, uh, when the Bible talks about Jesus' good friend Lazarus. You remember the Bible said Lazarus was sick. And, 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 and Jesus said, yeah, 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 he's sick. But Jesus said, that sickness, hello, y'all, is not unto death. He said, but it is for the glory. glory. I said, it's for the glory, glory of God that the Son of God might be glorified. There's a purpose for everything. Am I right about it? There's a purpose. Somebody argued the point where, 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 where Jesus got the word a long time ago. Why did he not hurry back that Lazarus would have been all right when he got there? Jesus already knew. Jesus said, and, and let me paraphrase, Jesus said, I'm going to take my time. That when I get back and I show the glory of God, they will be able to see it is for the glory of God. There's a purpose. There's a purpose in our, in, in, in our lives, and I, uh, I, I think Sister Story and I were talking this week, and, and I was sharing with her uh, on the men's call. We, we do a men's call every other Tuesday, brothers from all over the country, from Alaska, from Atlanta, uh, 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 from Waco, Texas, from Nashville, from North Carolina. It's about nine or ten brothers get on the line every other Tuesday, and, and we share, and we have a message, and we pray for one another. And the brother that spoke on this past Tuesday spoke on what is our purpose. Hello, somebody. You see, too many of us are still stumbling around trying to figure out what our purpose is. Amen, amen. If you don't know your purpose, you need to go ask somebody. And, and I would suggest that you ask Jesus, what's your purpose? And when you figure out your purpose, I, 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 I stop by to encourage you to start fulfilling your purpose. Hello, somebody. Not only was there a predicament, but there was a... There was a purpose, and not only was there a purpose, but, but there was a plan. Is, is that all right? For every purpose, God's got a plan. For every predicament, there's a purpose, and for every purpose, there's a plan. Hey, Amen. I, I, I like to say the plan is FTO, faith, trust, and obedience. Is that all right? I, I believe that plan will work, y'all. I believe if we have faith in God, if we trust in God, and we're obedient to the word, I, I don't know of no other better plan. <laughs> Hello, y'all. Amen. Yeah, 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 the plan. God said that uh, 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 to the blind man. He said, now, 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 after he had made a statement, the Bible said he, he, he kneeled down. Am I right? And, 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 and he spit in the, in the dirt, in the clay, and, 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 and I'm just using my sanctified imagination. I believe he stirred it around a little bit. Yeah. And, and I believe he called the blind man or uh, went to the blind man. And, 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 and the Bible says he anointed his eyes, didn't he? Yeah. He put the spittle on his eyes. Yeah. 
And he said to the blind man, go down and wash. Ain't that what he said? In the pool of Siloam. I, 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 I stop by to tell you, here come, here come some faith. He couldn't see Jesus in the dirt. He didn't know what he was doing. There came some trust because he trusted in what Jesus said to do, and he was obedient. You see, your trust and your faith without no obedience ain't going to help you. He could have had all the faith in the world, Pele. He could have had all the trust. But if he was not obedient to go down to the pool of Siloam, somebody asked me the question, how did he get down there? I don't know how he got down there. I just know he went. And, and, and all right? I, I, he went. He washed. And he received. That's what the text said on it. Amen. And so when he got down to the pools of Siloam, he washed his eyes and he came seeing. Lord have mercy. Brother Nelson, he's no longer in that predicament. Now, I'm not saying he's not going to ever get in another one, but that one, that one been taken care of. God's done rectified that when God done made it where he's able now to see. Hello, y'all. And let me help somebody here. You know, you know, every time something good happened, you know those devils show up. He come, ain't it? He come, he come in the form of the Pharisees. Come to say, uh, 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 you know, first of all, they start griping because it was the Sabbath. You know, and every seemed like every time Jesus did something good, it was on the Sabbath. And the Pharisee had a problem with him. Even while Jesus had met the blind man, he had got ran out of the temple. Amen. He had left the temple. He had to hide himself because they wanted to stone him. And as he left the temple, the Bible said he passed by the blind man. And so the Pharisees, as they always do, they, 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 they wanted to put him on the spot. And, then, and then, then they came to the blind man and they said, now, 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 now who, who shall we ask? Shall we ask his parents? And they went to his parents and they said, now, your boy, your boy, he was blind. And, and, and now he see and he said it was it, 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 it was Jesus. You know what they did? They were smart enough to know that they wasn't going to incriminate themselves. <laughs> because if they would have started talking, they, hello, y'all. And so you know what they said? They said, hold on. I'm just using my sanctified imagination. They said, hold on. We're going to get this thing off. Of. That boy old enough. Y'all go ask him. Is that all right? Y'all go ask him. And when they went to the man and they, and, 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 and they said unto him, they said, now, 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 boy, I, you was blind, but now you're, you're seeing, and, 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 and who was it? What, 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 what is it? He said, I don't know, but a man by the name, oh, that man said, by the name of Jesus, he anointed my eyes with clay, told me to go down to the pool of Siloam. I went down, and I, I washed, and I, 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 I came back, and now I received my sight. Any folk blind in here? Amen. We got any blind folk in here today? Amen. You need to go. You need to wash and then you might you might receive. And so we have a predicament. We have a purpose. Is that alright? We got a plan. And, 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 and I need to Tell us something real quick. God, God calls for us to be strong in our struggles. Help me, somebody. But we can't be strong in our struggles if we're not in the favor of God. You can't be strong in your struggle by yourself. Hello, somebody. You ever tried it? All you're doing is beating your head up against the wall. When you're in your struggle, in order to be strong in your struggle, you got to have the Lord on your side. So, Brother Taylor, that was a predicament. That was a purpose. That was a plan. And thank God. Thank God for the praise. Hello, somebody. I don't know about you, Chris, but I just need to call on the name of Jesus. 
Every now and then, I just need to let Jesus know just how good he's been to me. Hello, somebody. And I done told y'all, I told y'all on the first Sunday, I ain't going to let nobody steal my joy. I, I, I come this year to praise God. I don't care what nobody say. I'm not going to act a fool, but I'm going to let him know that I appreciate everything. Hello, somebody. That he done for me. I, 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 I pulled out the drawer this morning. I went to get a pair of socks, and, and it had a big hole in the toe. And I said, thank you, God. <laughs> I, I'm going to be thankful for whatever he gives me. I'm not going to complain. Hello, somebody. I'm just going to ask him to just keep me in the straight and, and, and narrow path. I'm going to ask him to keep me under his wing that I, I, I might be able to be what he called me to be. I just want to be what he wants me to be. I, 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 I don't care. Amen. I, I'm, I'm, I, I'm not going to play church no more. I'm going to show him that I love him. Amen. I know I'm going to make some mistakes, but I tell you what, I just pray that when I fall, he'll get me back up. I, I just pray when I go astray, he'll bring me and get me back in line. I, I just pray that when I say something to offend somebody, I'll be smart enough to know and understand to be forget. Hello, y'all. I just pray that I can be humble in what I do and what I say and how I carry myself. I just want to be in the presence of the Lord. I just want to let him know that I'm thankful to be a child of the king. Hello, somebody. Because I could still be on the corner. Hello, y'all. I could still be looking between some bars. I, I, I could be dead in my grave. But God has been good. And I'm going to give him some praise. I said, I'm going to give him some praise. Amen, amen. I can hear him now when he said, well, well, well how did you receive your sight? It, it, it was by Jesus. And they said, well, 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 where is this Jesus? I don't know where you are. Well, what about this Jesus? Uh, I, I just need to tell you, I was blind. I said I was blind. But now, now I see. Amen. That's all to be enough for him. I, 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 I see now, and I know who to give the glory to. I know who to give the praise to. I know if it had not been for God who was on my side, my enemies would have swallowed, swallowed me up. Hello, somebody. I went. I washed. And I received. Ain't it good to know that we can be on the receiving end of his blessings? We can be on the receiving end of his mercy. We can be on the receiving end of his grace. We can be on the receiving end of his love. Lord, have mercy. Somebody ought to shout up in here to just let us know God, God still loves us. In spite of ourselves, God still, still loves us. And for that, we ought to just give him some praise. Is that all right? Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes when I'm preaching up here and I, and, 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 and I start to feeling good and, and I look out, boy, and, 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 and I want to I wanna jump. Can I jump every now and then? I ain't going to jump today, but every now and then, can I jump without anybody calling somebody and saying, what he doing up there? Can I? Amen. You remember, you remember, and I'm finna close in Acts chapter 3, you remember? My boy Peter and John were on their way up to the temple. Y'all remember that? They were going up to the temple about the ninth hour, the hour to pray. And on their way in the temple, the Bible said there was a, a, a man lame at the gate of the beautiful, the gate of the temple called Beautiful. And he had been there for, hello y'all, for a long time. Scripture says in Acts chapter 4 that, that, that he was about 40 years old. Can you imagine laying at the gate? Can you imagine everybody having to bring you in the morning and bring you back home and watch out after your every need and you sit at the gate begging every time somebody went in. Can you imagine and then here comes Peter and John and he looks up onto them achieving that he might give something to them and Peter says, silver and gold have I none but what I have I give to thee in the name of Jesus. Am I right? They didn't have no money but they told him to get up. Is that all right? Rise up. The Bible said he got up and he, I'm going to jump today and he got on his feet and the Bible said he went praising. I, he went in the temple praising. I said he went in the temple praising. 
praising the Lord. Uh, stop by to tell somebody, don't stop my praise. Don't stop my praise. Amen. Because I know how good he been to me. Because I've been in a predicament. I know he had a purpose. He worked his plan. And now I can give him some praise. Is that all right? This morning, if you're not a child of the king, you come by the hearing of the word, believing in the same, repenting of your sin. Confess Jesus to be the divine son of God. Go down in the watery grave of baptism for the remissions of your sin. If you have obeyed, but straight away, come on back and get into a right relationship with God. Ain't nothing like it, y'all. I said, ain't nothing like it, being in a right relationship with the Lord. And then there may be one that stands in the need of prayer. If you need prayer this morning, you know someone that stands in the need of prayer. Certainly we'll pray while together we stand and say the invitation song. 65. Somebody's knocking at your door. Somebody knocking at your door oh sinner why don't you answer somebody's knocking at your door knocks like jesus somebody's knocking at your door Knocks like Jesus, somebody's knocking at your door. Oh, sinner, why don't you answer somebody at your door? Can't you hear him, somebody? He's knocking at your door. Can't you hear him? Somebody's knocking at your door. Oh, sinner, why don't you answer? Somebody's knocking at your door. Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. Surely our hearts are made to rejoice. We've got three precious souls that still stand, and at this time, we're going to allow them to say what's on their heart. We're starting back with Sister Frazier. Uh, allow her to say what's on her heart. Amen. God bless you. Sister Smith. 